Some of the people who purchased dried figs posted complaints about them. This person complained that a quarter of the figs were dry and or sour. And this person also complained about sour figs. This person complained that 10% of the figs were going bad and had turned black inside. And this person complained that only about one-third of the figs appeared to be edible. This person complained that they were a little bitter. This person complained that they were rotten and had a foul taste and that there were many terrible ones. He posted a couple photos to show that some of them are black inside. If you cut the figs open, you can determine which ones will taste terrible. And if you look closely, especially with a magnifying glass, you can understand why. To begin with, take a look at what a fig should look like. Although there are different varieties of fig, the Smyrna fig, which is one of the most common, should have lots of light-colored seeds in a thick, translucent, amber-colored gel. Furthermore, when the fig is truly ripe, as it dries, some of the sugar will crystallize on the outside, causing the fig to look like it has a coating of white powder. One person posted a complaint on Amazon that some of his figs had white mold on them, so he discarded those but he was probably assuming the sugar was mold, in which case he discarded the best-tasting figs. If the white powder sparkles when light is shined on it, then it is crystals of sugar, not mold. Some mold is white, but mold looks fuzzy or like a mat of spider webs or cotton, and as the mold matures, Little balls of spores appear at the end of the stalks. Mold does not form crystals. If you look closely at the inside of the figs that taste awful, you'll find black areas. The black stuff is mold, but it's usually difficult to identify it as mold because the figs have been squashed as a result of being dried and processed for sale. That presses the mold into the gel of the fig which makes the gel look black. However, if you open enough of the bad-tasting figs, you'll eventually find some areas where the black mold has not been pressed into the gel, and you can see the fibers that resemble cotton or spider webs, and you can see the stalks that have a tiny ball of spores. The stalks and balls of spores are difficult to see without a magnifying glass or by enlarging a photo or video of them. They look gray when they are dry and become black when pressed into the gel of the fig. It seems that 10 to 40 percent of the figs that I have purchased have had mold in them. And since nobody seems to get sick from these figs, the mold must not be dangerous. It just tastes terrible. Another reason that figs have a terrible flavor is because of insects. Many figs have lots of little amber-colored cylinders. That is the poop of insects. You will also find the larva that created that poop, although the processing and shipping will often squash them and break them into pieces. If there's only a couple small larvae and only a couple little pieces of poop, you probably won't notice, but some of the figs are so loaded with insects and their poop that you're likely to notice an unpleasant flavor. Those creatures also produce a silky material that looks like spider webs and can be confused with mold. I don't buy figs very often because I'm tired of cutting them open, inspecting them, and throwing away 10 to 40 percent of them. Besides, I have a fig tree. The businesses that produce fig cookies must be using the same figs that everybody else is eating. So 10 to 40 percent of the figs that they use in those cookies must be contaminated with mold and insects also. However, we would not notice because the bad tasting figs would be mixed with clean figs, sugar, spices, and cookie dough. The ingredients also make the fig paste so black that we would never notice the black mold. 
Another thing that you will notice when you open up the figs is that some of them have bits of dirt and vegetation, and sometimes other insects, such as ants. Here is a fig that has some type of vegetation in it. That type of contamination won't give the fig a bad flavor, but it might give it a weird texture. The reason those items are inside the fig is because a fig has a hole at the bottom, and dirt, insects, and mold can get into it through that hole. I don't know which variety of fig is the most likely to have mold or insects, but I suspect that it is the figs that are allowed to fall on the ground and then lay there until they dry. There is a video that shows figs harvested in this manner. A link to it is in the description. However, figs can be contaminated with mold and insects even when they are harvested from the tree. I have a black mission fig tree, and these figs are picked from the tree rather than letting them fall on the ground. But I occasionally find mold or fruit fly larvae inside. Since I never know which figs have the mold or larva, I always cut them open before eating them to take a look at what's inside. Unlike the Smyrna figs, these have a variety of colors inside. If they have not been contaminated with mold or insects, they will have a translucent gel covering the seeds, and many of the seeds will look as if they're sprouting roots. This particular fig has a tiny egg at its entrance hole. Incidentally, the area where I live doesn't get hot enough in the summer for figs to reach their maximum ripeness, so now I slice the figs and dehydrate them a bit to concentrate the flavor, which also makes them more chewy. When this type of fig is dehydrated, it doesn't have the amber gel like the Smyrna figs. Instead, it has interesting colors and patterns. Only a few of the figs on my tree are contaminated with mold or insects, so my biggest problem is that birds eat a lot of the figs before they are completely ripe. Since mold and insects are a problem with 10 to 40 percent of the Smyrna figs, and birds are also a problem, it would be nice if we could grow figs in hermetically sealed greenhouses.